very well organized and well structured uh, course i mean it's a little different from the usual conferences that we have uh, all the case based discussions of one case where a surgeon highlights the difficulties he faced and takes feedback and there's a lot of discussion so i feel the take home for most delegates will be great because uh, all of us are into troubles during surgeries and we can learn a lot from the experiences of how he overcame the difficulties during the surgery so uh, yes uh, conference with a difference definitely and uh, was there anyone in particular that you were looking forward to any session that was interesting or unique I mean, uh, being trauma surgeon, uh, interested in most of the sessions because uh, we could relate to uh, each of the cases that were being presented. Because the, surge, the, the speakers who presented the case definitely took efforts to present the toughest, challenging case that they came across. So, I uh, could uh, very well relate to all the cases. So, nothing in I mean, particular, but overall, uh, everything was great. And is there anything you're looking forward to next year, uh, or you would want to have next year? all the same i mean <laughs> similar thing uh, we can continue cadaveric also which was uh, the feedback from the delegates was very well uh, mm-hmm. for day one will be that we can take it for a little longer time because mm-hmm. some delegates wanted uh, some other exposures to be shown so depending on the feedback from the delegates i think we can take it forward from there so any take home message you would like to give for the delegates Take home message. I mean, trauma surgery is very evolving. Keep, things keep changing year on year. So uh, I can safely say whatever we saw today, some of them might not be there next year when you come back to the same course. So orthopedic surgery is changing and trauma surgery is uh, changing on a rapid basis. So keep uh, updated with the times. Keep attending more such uh, conferences where we can get to see the latest uh, advancements and uh, refine the treatment that we give to our patients. And uh, for our podcast, can you give a really quick uh, brief or something on a therapy that you find interesting or even in your line of practice that you came across something new? Yeah, I mean, one thing that I would like to highlight, uh, especially the young orthopedic surgeons now who is this uh, particular device is a mighty long nail for approximately humerus fractures, which is giving amazing results for two, three and four part fractures also. So I feel that at least our patients deserve uh, to get the treatment which most Western patients are getting. So, I mean, now with uh, so many Indian companies uh, getting this nail into the market, uh, that should be a game changer, I feel, and uh, all of us should learn how to use it and uh, the benefits are uh, com- significantly better compared to any other implants that we have been using all these years. So, uh, it's just a matter of time where we totally switch over from the existing implant to the new implant. Thank you. Thank you.